Your presence is a source of constant inspiration and encouragement to all of us. I welcome you, Father. It's my turn to accept a gracious and inclusive welcome to honorable board members, Mr. Sam Chirin, sir, and Mr. A.B. Eaton, sir, who is always ever supportive and motivative personality. I welcome you, board, sir. I accept warm welcome to Dr. Nagabush, radiologist, Manipal Hospital, Bangalore, for his valuable presence in this program. It's my privilege to welcome Principal of St. Thomas State School, Mr. Swaminath sir, who is ever enthusiastic in work and a supportive personality. I welcome you, sir. I cordially welcome Principal of St. Thomas Central School, Mr. Lincho Andrews sir, for this program. I welcome you, sir. My hearty welcome to Principal, Vice Principal of State School, Mrs. Jyoti Rashmi ma'am. Vice Principal of Central School, Ms. Sasha Osbina, and to all our beloved teaching and non teaching staff members. I cordially welcome members of St. Thomas Alumni Association to this event. And I extend my warm welcome to your parents. We cherish your partnership and collaboration in all our endeavors. I am absolutely delighted to welcome our students who are part of this program. I, I welcome you, children. Once again, I welcome one and all to this program. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. It's a great pleasure to have you. Now we have the Secretary of Markham Education Society, Mr. Sam Chirin. Good morning to all of you. Respected action principals of various uh, institutions of Markham Education Society, dear teachers, and my dear students and the parents who are able to view this important session of the year. And we're extremely happy to see that we are at least, we could commence the academic year now with the blessings of the Almighty and the permission from the necessary government departments and the Chief Minister of Karnataka. I personally, on, and on behalf of the board members, I thank the authorities for the first time and my best wishes to all the principals for organizing especially i must really thank swami and the team of principals along with achen achen has put in this effort i would say i would use the word relentlessly without any breakage with a lot of effort we could gather today and start the classes and i wish all the teachers for their extra effort to start this program and uh, and i hope and wish that you will continue giving your effort in spite of various situations which are not to our encouragement and i thank each one of you and i especially i would like to bless all the students for this for them to get this opportunity st thomas has never failed in supporting the students in their growth and we will continue doing that and for which the opportunity is given to you please make use of it i know there are a lot of difficulties father is trying to resolve a lot of uh, situations for the students to make use of this opportunity we will assure you we can do our best my all best wishes to the principals teachers and finally let me thank Savita and team, that that support from Savita is very, very, very valuable. Continue giving your best support to the management, the school, the teachers, and your support. But for your support, principals cannot function at this time of crisis. My best wishes to all of you. Thank you once again. My wishes and blessings to all of you. Father, thank you very much for giving this opportunity. Thank you. By lighting a lamp of knowledge, one can dispel the darkness of ignorance. Now, I would request our respected father, Reverend Pratash Kepanan, our principals and heads of various sections and vice principals, and all the dignitaries on the layers, please light the lamp and give a start to this auspicious occasion.
your teachers for that wonderful song. May the divine power bless all of us. Now, it's a matter of great pleasure and honor for me to welcome our respected founder and the British Chairman to deliver the presidential address. <laughs> Mr. Tinder Andrews, Vice Principal of State School, Godrej Kinjana, Vice Principal of Central School, Asha Esri Man, HMs, Senior Assistants, Coordinators of various sections, teachers and beneficiaries. Greetings to all in the name of our Creator God. The year 2021-22 for the academics of Sindhava School we begins today. We have started a few days earlier. At this moment, it gives me enough pressure to receive you all at the beginning of the new academic year. 2021-22. I welcome you all on behalf of the Central School Management for the new academic year. That it has come with the new hope, a hope that after the dark clouds of COVID-19, a silver lining of getting back to normal life from the new normal will appear soon. New normal is what we adapted in the pandemic situation. The past academic year 2021 was a challenging year of the students, parents, teachers, and all the people who are associated with the teaching learning process. It started with planning in mind. However, it ended with a pop in our heart. Though our students missed the face-to-face -face interaction with their teachers, the school saw to it that there is no loss in their academics. In the beginning, the teachers started online classes using whatever knowledge of technology they had and towards the end they have mastered this art of connecting online classes. The teachers have to adapt the new normal by conducting online classes whereas the students started adapting new normal by learning virtually through online classes. Both made their efforts in making things possible in the new normal. The teachers delivered curriculum with adaption of the new ICT and the students received sitting in the same corners of their OSI forms. Both the teachers as well as the students resisted the adverse situation and displayed resilience. This resilience will grow in the year to come. Now we have learned to see opportunity in adversity. The technology we adapted to in the past year will act as one of the tools and effective aid for all of us. It will, for sure, provide leverage to our teaching learning process. A new ray of hope has been generated by the introduction of new education policy 2020 a pristine document 
on education where emphasis is laid on technology the new normal we have adapted to the resilience we have developed will play a crucial role in using the new education policy in a better way our next academic year's theme will be preparing for a pandemic free space and our slogan of the year is smart students for a smart school we all will endeavor to strengthen this quality in us along with caring for our emotional health as well the school assures a safer and healthy learning environment inside the campus let us accept the change and challenges coming on our way with this mind on our face and faith in our hearts dearly beloved parents and students be at sindoma schools in mysore and in jaipur i have always emphasized an all round and balanced education based on a sound intellectual discipline or and social formation the aim is to make you erudite patriotic law abiding and ceaselessly seeking excellence with a deep concern for all especially the weak and the poor sections of the society but i am proud of you as you continue to demonstrate diligence motivation and determination to work to the best of your abilities to learn new instructions our talented and dedicated staff members both teaching and non teaching have been showing their care and concern for the students working from home preparing notes and engaging classes online for the benefit of our students i appreciate their concern for the students and commitment to the academics a big clap for all the parents for their continued support with the foundations of resilience to face such difficult events in the future let us consider this formidable challenge as an opportunity to learn and must rise to meet this bravely we should not let the pandemic bring us down we must remain positive and keep our hopes alive as i believe that nothing is free this time the obstacle of our past can become the gateway that lead to new beginnings let me conclude my words as we begin the new academic year god on my is blessing is needed at this moment in one way we are all little upright of the day to day situation in other sense the future of our works are very very important so it is our collective responsibility to prepare our students and our school to the regular academics and i pray to god on my to open our school for the online classes at the earliest with the implement of vaccination everywhere in the 
Don't get bottles of rubbish. So, at this moment, I humbly request to, to all the parents who are listening me at this moment. Online classes are equivalent to offline classes. So sometimes online classes will You will think that no, they will be in the class, they never will get time. It is not like that. The school scheduled the time. The school scheduled the academic year. Everything is to be moved in a systematic manner. Cooperation and support of the parents are very, very important at this moment. I'm not extending my words. Stay well, stay positive, keep smiling. God bless you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Father. St. Thomas Institution is considered as one of the best schools in our national city. And here, the educators not only impart education, but we also cherish. Now, I would like to invite our honorable state school principal, Mrs. Swaminathan, to present the academic plan for the year 2021. Respected and beloved father, Reverend Prakash Abraham, manager of our institutions, dignitaries, principals, vice principals, HMs, academic coordinators, and my dear staff and students. St. Thomas is a visionary institution which stands against the adverse situations and tries to reach every student and parent with its innovative approach to a new normal way of teaching learning process. It has well designed plan to face the most important challenge of regular schooling where pandemic has given a temporary stop for reachability to the students. As you know the most discussed pandemic COVID-19 with its multiple mutations has caused the temporary closing of the schools. We are in need to reach the students with online classes. Our students have lost the happiness of the direct interactive sessions of the schools. They have to limit themselves to the online learning, which is new to many, yet mandatory to involve in teaching learning activity. Our school have a well set timetable for the classes, schedules and slots which matches every situation for all the grades of the students through Duradarshan, Chandanavahini, WhatsApp, Zoom, YouTube and Google platforms. Our teachers are very much trained to reach the students through these platforms. It is well managed by them. The school is always at the reach of the parents and the students. We have recorded classes for their later references. Our goal is to make the study a continuous process without a break. Our request is only for the readiness of the students with a laptop or a mobile with internet facility which is to be arranged at the time of the classes. The second thing, we ask the students to have the interest in listening and learning things through the new normal method, though it is sometimes tiresome. Our minds may get distracted with other colorful and attractive world offered by the global nets. But the thing is to remember is that only studies can make you globally famous, only with a very disciplined mind and body. Students can make online learning a fruitful one. 
we request the parents to please monitor the students during the classes and make sure that they benefit from their lessons and time because our minds are faster than wind just listening to the classes does not make any sense the students should take down the gist of the lesson as their notes that will help them to comprehend the lessons better there they get the continuity of the concepts taught they can make use of their notes for their future reference students cannot wait for the teachers to provide written or dictated notes it will never help them to grow self learning has a greater value in upgrading the knowledge we will provide assignments for you and they are meant to be completed on time by yourself so that it helps you to learn retrieve restore the learned lessons thoroughly our expectations is to have 100% learning by the students though they are away from the normal schooling we are ready to provide everything to the students through the new methods of learning and we expect everyone's cooperation so that our endeavors become fruitful we hope our students to be 100% smart as the school is of smart students thank you ऑफ़ एचएमस टीचर्स बिलावर पेरेंट्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सो हैप्पी टू टेल यू व्हाट इज द जिस्ट ऑफ दिस एकेडमिक ईयर 2021 टू फॉर द सेंट्रल स्कूल सीबीएसई सेंट्रल स्कूल एवरी स्टूडेंट इज वेटिंग टू नो व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन दिस एकेडमिक ईयर वी हैव कम आउट विद अ डिफरेंट प्लान एंड इट इज सम पर्सनल I am like welcome all the students to the new academic year. I know you. I know that you are all eagerly waiting to come to the school, to play on the ground, to see the teachers, to talk in the classroom, to move around in the campus. We are all eagerly waiting for that. You have that longing, I know, but because of the pandemic, you are sitting at home. Don't worry. The Saint Thomas teachers will make a situation. When you are able to go to attend the online class, like you attend the offline class in the classroom, such as the streaming class, we have made it. I welcome everyone to the new academic year 2021-22. Dear students, parents, the academic year, the highlights of Saint Thomas Central School, Mysore. First of all, the commencement of the classes. Definitely, the commencement of the classes will be online. One to five, the teachers or we have the actual syllabus are made at hand, and it will be live broadcasted to the app to the students. So, one to five students of the school, please utilize. We have online class, online class to Google Meet. The teachers have already set the time. And always at the time of the group, according to the time, please be available with your tab, with your laptop, or with your mobile, with your computer, whatever it is available. Please be online to attend the uh, class with the enthusiasm and the sellers that you have when you are in that online classroom, in that more in that atmosphere, come and attend the online class. Now we have begun the orientation classes. And a revision class for six standard, nine standard. Whereas for class nine, ten, 
12. We have already begun the class in the previous month, that is the month of April onwards. We have begun the class. Whereas all these other classes, it will begin from today onwards. Assignments, projects, seminars will be there. So we have this year. Though it is an online, we are now talking to the students. Just attend the class because we are aiming at the development of the knowledge. The enhancement of the knowledge is our priority. So therefore, we have planned to conduct subject to assignments, subject to projects, subject to seminars. All these things will be planned online. It will be arranged and I expect all the students to do it in an excellent way. Evaluation process. Now, we can be waiting to know how the evaluation will be there during this pandemic. I know that my students are waiting for the year, waiting to hear that it will be online examination. Definitely examination will be online, okay? But, see, I have developed or we have planned some other way to conduct examination. We will be having evaluation based on CC button that is continuous and complex evaluation will be there. Terminal examination will be possible if the government will learn this, ask for the protocol, ask for the advice and research of the government, we will be trying on the first to conduct it offline with the government terms. Whereas, if no substitution comes, we will be conducting it online with clear instructions to the parents. Then, apart from that, if I give a question in the group, in the WhatsApp group, or if I ask the parents to come and ask the question in the school, that way they will know and it will be given to the students. There may be a chance for the students to open the and give by the right answers. Whereas, why no examination will be conducted? Oral examination. The time schedule will be set. Systematic way it will be arranged and each student will be asked to appear in front of the camera, in front of the Zoom meet, in front of the Google meet and the teachers will be asked on the questions of the particular questions. In that 5 minutes or 10 minutes will be asked and the evaluation will be made. A clear evaluation will be made. So the students from the standard, first standard, please get ready for oral examination or viva examinations. Then practical examination definitely CBC it is concerned with the body of students. Once the power shifts the time, what is the practical examination will be there after the protocol rules the rest of CBC. Then preparatory examination. See, for one to nine students, definitely you can expect minimum two viewers because one will be conducted before the half year examination. Other one before the final examination because simply taking the class through online is doesn't make any sense. Whereas it will be thoroughly evaluated, the performance of the students will be thoroughly evaluated. Therefore, the evaluation pattern should be strict and it will be very strict. Kindly cooperate with us and get ready for the evaluation process. And for 10th and 12th students, we will be conducting the preparatory examination for the final examination. Uh, the students of class 10 and 12 don't do that this year also CBC has the examination. Whereas CBC, CBC will develop some other software or some other technique that will find out and they will, find, they will make the examination under the special days. Last year it is cancelled but next year it is not going to be successful because the students will be vaccinated and the system and the procedure will be very much very much made from the side of CDC and from the school also. Minimum four preparatory examination will be conducted on the school side. Okay? And one preparatory will be the Viva examination. So the comprehensive Viva, the comprehensive Viva will be conducted for class 10 and 12 students. St. Thomas Institution plans coaching for students also because we see the students who are sitting in front of us. Will be someone and something else tomorrow. So we need to prepare those students to face the competitive examination. So we will be providing the coaching. The coaching for NDSC. Okay, and for the state students, it will be NMS. For CBC students, NDSC will be the national talents of examination. And great talent of the examination also will be uh, done for the class that students. This is for a scholarship examination where the students of state and CBC can attend and those who come on the top level will be given the scholarship. That is what the great talent examinations. 
If the situation is not done, we are also planning to conduct a countless course for students of standard to plus ten, where we will be giving advanced training for the students. That is what we are planning. But we hope that the situation will be able to conduct that foundation course on the campus. It will be integrated to the message or to the circular from the office. Last year it was a new field for all the teachers, all the students. Sudden shift from online class to online class. So many things it was new to the parents, students, and teachers, but for the schools also, especially for Indian schools. Whereas this year we are all masters, we have learned how to do it, we know how to handle it. So therefore, so that apart from the classes, we will be having, we will be having uh, extra curricular activities such as art and craft competitions. We have already conducted that. Slogan making and post making competition on the day of the uh, environmental day, we have a good number of 218 students participated, and the list of the the prize is also is ready. It will be announced to the group. The, the teacher concert will be sent in. So, all apart from the online class, we will be having a class competition. Fun with the dates will be there. Okay, yoga will be there. Home management will, will be there because the students are sitting at the home. So, they should learn something, something uh, substantial. Okay? And health and hygiene will be there. Knowledge will be there. How the knowledge will be there? The teacher, the teacher of the particular class will present it. And we will make understand the student something new. That is what knowledge handling it is for enhancing the knowledge. You know how many people are in India? How many union members are in India? How they have come may not be known to everyone. When they have come, it may not be known to uh, everyone. So the teacher will present it in such a wonderful way. In the group, there are all the students who learn new, new things. Competitions. We have a little competition will be there. So the competition will be intimated to the students. Every student's participation is must, and the student has to uh, take part in it because once you participate in the competition for knowledge, automatically it will be developed. Right is will be developed. The knowledge will be developed. Otherwise, See, we can't blame the corona every time because corona will go within two days, uh, two, two, two hours, yes. Once it goes, we will be equally efficient, equally efficient to face the present day. Culture and Expo will be there, okay? Expo will be different, the culture and competitions will be there this year. We will try to conduct it offline. If not possible, it will be better online. Then, Candidate and Magazine this year from the side of the school, instruction from the management, and different items we have planned. That is, the Candidate and Magazine, each class will be prepared in Candidate and Magazine. It is very good to see that every student of a particular class write something and make a magazine. So, every student put to write a paper will be given to the school side and the uh, uh, students write it on copy from anybody, write it and give it to us, we will make a magazine and it will be kept. So, a handwritten magazine also is planned, it will be taken place. Then, word power contest due to pandemic last year, we did not make the word power contest, but this year, every Saturday, the English teachers will make sure that the word power contest. For contest for the competition is taking place. So I need to learn how to to be the good power contest. Sports day, school day, all this is we plan to make it offline. Suppose if it is possible, we will do it. Now I would like to present 10 day examination for 10 day schedule of the school. Already it will be intimate with students. We do an examination. For the students of class 1 to 9, it will be August 2 to August 7. The parents, suppose they are planning to go out, they can uh, see the timetable or the time schedule, and accordingly they can plan it out. Whereas if your planning or your outing should not be affecting the studies, 
Till time shall you be given when you come to take the test series and the lot of the school recently. So the PTT will be conducted for class 1 to 9 September 13, 18. And this is our vacation. We have the vacation to the very first time. This is our vacation. As per the government institutions, it will be from 11th October to 20th October. Half year examination from 1 to 11, 1 to 12, 1 to 12, 21 numbers to November 2. Okay, we have all also said the plan for finishing the portions of class 10 and 12, that is for class 12, which is October 8. And now for class 10, I will build up Namaka. According to the teachers, we will prepare and finish the portions. Okay, then we have the value holiday also, that is number 3 to 5. While the examination for class 10 to 12, November, the month of November, it will be scheduled. And the model exam for class 10 and 12. November, okay. Those are finding some experience in the month of February or March or April. Our preparing examination will be taken for the month of November onwards, where we will prepare the students. Star 100 or 100. And the students will go behind for less than 80. That's what I am doing. So, dear parents, students, please prepare accordingly. Then, we will be examining for class 1 to 9, that is December 30 to 80. Christmas vacation. December 24th, 2nd January. Practical examination for class of we have kept at the date of the that is January 1st of February 15th. This is as per the check from the previous year of three days. But there are many days, there is a slight change when the new session comes from CDC. Much changes may not be there. Then we have the meeting for from 1 to 9 February 1st to 15th to 1st to 5. Annual examination February 2022. And the exam for class 1 to 8 will be in the month of April. Please note that annual examination for class 1 to 8 will be in the month of, uh, in the month of April. Whereas the new academic year will be for class 10 and 12 of 2022 and 23 will be from the month of February onwards. So the annual examination for class 1 to 8 will be in the month of April. And definitely the summer vacation, the summer holidays will be in the month of I hope that it is clear to you. But this time will be followed. We will try our learn to follow this time A slight variation will be there if any instructions or any rules and regulations come from the government side of the CDC. Otherwise, I am trying to follow the media time to follow the schedule as such it is. Dear students, I know that after hearing all these things, maybe you may be at age. No, don't worry. It is impossible. Okay? It, it always seems impossible until it is done. You may say it is impossible, but if you are in the field to do it, it may seem to be possible. I have. Okay? Once again, I welcome all the students to the new academic year. My prayer and my wish is that they let this academic year will be the effective one, fruitful one, where the knowledge can be enhanced. I am also interested to see my beloved students in the campus. Come to see that, some of the teachers, to see that you are running in the ground, on the ground, working on Paraka, or are coming yeah, to the school. We are waiting to see the students. Let us all be united and let us hope for the best. Let us come out immediately and quickly you can come to the school. I wish all the very best. Thank you. Have a nice day. Well, to your academic plans from state and central, I hope you'll be ready to care, zeal and enthusiasm to encounter all your school activities. Very happy. Thank you both the state and central principals. Now, now I'm very much delighted to announce this year's slogan of our St. Thomas student is Smart Students in a Smart School. And the focus for this year is preparing for a pandemic free space. Come, let's cheer our students for their creative performance to project this year's focus. <laughs>
Donna's school. I'm going to sing the rhyme. Sweep, sweep, sweep the floor. Be a busy bee. Help a wire bring the night to all your family. Every day, every day, I go to school. I go to school. I meet my friends. I meet my friends. And we all say. And we all say. Hello, hello. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
ವರ್ಷಿಣಿ ಊರಿಂದ ಅಜ್ಜಿ ಫೋನ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ತಗೋ ಮಾತನಾಡು ಹಲೋ ಅಜ್ಜಿ ಹೇಗಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಅಜ್ಜಿ ನಾನ್ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಕಣವ ನೀನ್ ಹೇಗಿದೆ ನಾನಂತ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಅಜ್ಜಿ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ನನ್ಗೆ ಇನ್ನೇನು ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಶುರು ಆಗ್ತಿತ್ತು ಅಜ್ಜಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಏನವ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅಜ್ಜಿ ಕೊರೋನಾ ಅಂತ ಒಂದೂವರೆ ವರ್ಷದಿಂದ ಯಾವ ಶಾಲೆಗಳು ತೆರೆದಿಲ್ಲ ಆದರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಥಾಮಸ್ ಶಾಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಇವುಗಳನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಬಳಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಇಂಟರ್ನೆಟ್ ಸಹಾಯದಿಂದ ನಮಗೆ ಪಾಠ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರು ಸಹ ಝೂಮ್ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಗೂಗಲ್ ಮೀಟ್ ಹಾಗೂ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ನಂತಹ ಹೊಸ ಹೊಸ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿಯಿಂದ ನಮಗೆ ಕಲಿಕೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇಸರ ಆಗದೇ ಇರೋ ರೀತಿ ನಮಗೆ ಪಾಠ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಜ್ಜಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಅಚ್ಚುಕಟ್ಟಾಗಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ಗಳನ್ನ ನಿಗದಿಪಡಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ನಮಗೆ ಪಾಠ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಜ್ಜಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಪ್ರಯೋಗಗಳನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ನಮಗೆ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಮುಂದಿನ ವಾರ ಬೇರೆ ನಮಗೆ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಇದೆ ಅಜ್ಜಿ ಆದ್ರಿಂದ ನಾನು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಓದ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಅಜ್ಜಿ ಆಯ್ತು ಕಣವ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಓದ್ಕ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮುಗಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ಫೋನ್ ಮಾಡು ಆಯ್ತು ಅಜ್ಜಿ ಓ ಕಿರಣ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರ್ಬೋದು ಐದ್ ನಿಮಿಷದಲ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಬೇರೆ ಶುರು ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಬೇರೆ ಇನ್ ಒಂದ್ ವಾರದಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಅವನ್ ಏನ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಾನು ತಾಳು ಕಾಲ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನೋಡೋಣ ಹಲೋ ವರ್ಷಿಣಿ ಕಿರಣ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆಯಾ ಇನ್ ಐದ್ ನಿಮಿಷಕ್ಕೆ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಬೇರೆ ಶುರು ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಲೇ ವರ್ಷಿಣಿ ಇವತ್ತು ನಾನು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಗೇಮ್ ಡೌನ್ಲೋಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಗೊತ್ತಾ ಸಕ್ಕತ್ತಾಗಿದೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಾ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಕ್ ಬೇರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಬೇರೆ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತಾನೆ ಕಾಪಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಬರೆದ್ರೆ ಆಯ್ತು ಬಿಡು ಇನ್ನು ಆಫ್ಲೈನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಕೈ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಚಾನ್ ಸಿಕ್ತಂಗ್ ಮಜ್ಜಾ ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಡ್ಬೇಕು ಹಾಗೆಲ್ಲ ಕೇರ್ಲೆಸ್ ಮಾಡಬಾರ್ದು ಅಲ್ವಾ ಕಿರಣ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಥಾಮಸ್ ಶಾಲೆಯ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಟೈಮ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ನ ನಿಗದಿ ಪಡಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ನಮಗೆ ಪಾಠ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹಾಗೆ ಟೈ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ಗಳನ್ನ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯದಕ್ಕೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಅವ್ರ ಶ್ರಮ ಸಾರ್ಥಕವಾಗಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಓದಬೇಕಲ್ವಾ ಕಿರಣ್ ನಮಗೆ ಈಗ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಅವಕಾಶ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಫೋನ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನೆಟ್ ತಾನಾಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಕೈ ಸೇರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇದನ್ನ ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ಬಳಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಆಫ್ಲೈನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಶುರುವಾದಾಗ ಓದೋದು ಇದ್ದೇ ಇದೆ ಹೌದು ಕಿರಣ್ ಅವಕಾಶಗಳನ್ನ ಬಳಕೆ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಆದ್ರೆ ದುರ್ಬಳಕೆ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬಾರ್ದು ಕಿರಣ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಇನ್ನೇನು ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಶುರು ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ನಾನು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸಿಗೋಣ ಬಾಯ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಾಯ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ನನ್ಗೆ ಇನ್ನು ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಗೇಮ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮುಗ್ದಿಲ್ಲ Dear students, all of you unmute your audio and keep your video camera on. Kiran, keep your video on. Yes ma'am. ಹೆಂಗೆ ನಾವು ನಾವು ಅಂದರೆ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆನ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ವೀಡಿಯೋನೂ ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಇಫ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡೂ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫೈ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಕ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅ ವೈವಾ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಆಟ್ ಡೂ ಎನಿ ಮಾರ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಕೋರಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ವೆರಿ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ವೈವಾ ಛೇ ಹೆಂಗೋ ಆನ್ಲೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಪಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ತಗೊಂಡು ಗುಡ್ ಅನ್ನಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಅಂತಿದ್ರೆ ಇವಾಗ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ವೈವಾ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂದರಲ್ಲಪ್ಪ ಛೇ ನಾನು ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ನ ಸೀರಿಯಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಗೇಮ್ನ ಯಾವಾಗ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೂ ಆಡ್ಬೋಗಿತ್ತು ಆದರೆ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಕಲ್
ಆದರೆ ಕರೋನಾದಂತಹ ವಿಷಮ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕಳೆದ ಒಂದೂವರೆ ವರ್ಷದಿಂದ ಕಲಿಕೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ವಂಚಿತರಾಗುವುದರ ಬದಲು ಕಲಿಕೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ತೊಡಗಿರಲು ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ತರಗತಿಗಳು ಸಹಾಯಕಾರಿಯಾಗಿದೆ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ತರಗತಿ ಮೂಲಕ ಪಾಠ ಪ್ರವಚನ ನೀಡಿ ನಮಗೆ ಕಲಿಕೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದಿಂಚು ಕೊರತೆಯಾಗದಂತೆ ಪಾಠ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಟ್ಟಂತಹ ನಮ್ಮ ಸೈಂಟ್ ಥಾಮಸ್ ಶಾಲೆಯ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರಿಗೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಸೈಂಟ್ ಥಾಮಸ್ ಶಾಲೆಗೆ ನಾನು ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ Spurti for your wonderful Bharatanatya performance. Varshin, Varshin and Kiran for presenting the reality of what is happening in our world right now. Thank you so very much. And last but not the least, I will extend my heartfelt thanks to our Mani Swami sir who composed and sung a song specially on our St. Thomas institution. Thank you very much sir. Now, today as you all know, July 1st. India celebrates National Doctors Day on July 1st each year in the honor of the birth and death anniversary of the great physician and the second chief minister of West Bengal, Dr. Vidhan Chandra. This year, once again, dedicated to all the doctors and healthcare professionals who are risking their life and serving all of us in this panel. To mark this year's Doctor's Day, we have Dr. Nani Bhushan, Consultant Radiologist, Manipal Hospital, Bangalore, to share his views. Hello everyone. Myself, I am Dr. Nagabhushan, presently working in Manipal Hospital, Whitefield, Bengaluru. I am a proud alumni of uh, St. Thomas uh, School, Mysore. I am glad that the Doctor's Day is coinciding with uh, the school reopening on this very day. We all have now understood the new normal situation and uh, we should uh, keep moving ahead with uh, learning and curriculum. Our uh, school premises and classes are well maintained and planned. Hope you all students have a great time back here. I wish everybody to stay safe and follow protocols for COVID control. I like to thank our school administration for giving me this opportunity to wish you all the very best on this occasion. Thank you everyone. Another thing of St. Thomas Institution myself. This year, St. Thomas School Jaipura has stepped up to 8th standard and we have been getting accreditation in class 12 in upcoming academic year. by the grace of god and you give us a good impact this academic year we have planned to have online and offline classes with well prepared plan for assessment and best way of execution st thomas school jaipura is all set to extend and impart best education even in this pandemic situation your parents We appreciate your kind support to our budding school of St. Thomas Institution. More and more children this year, wishing you all all the best and a happy start for the academic 2021. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Happy to share with you all that from past three years, our St. Thomas Institution is conducting inter-school NTS Olympiads. So here, I welcome our beloved Vice Principal of State, Mrs. Jyoti Lakshmi Ma, to call out the names of the cash prize winners. Thank you. 
So every year in our school, we train the students for FTC and even conduct medical school mock examination to develop confidence among students and encourage confidence among students and also honoring the toppers with cash prize and certificate and also scholarship benefits of 10% for senior secondary course of St. Thomas CBC. This year, due to pandemic situation, we conducted NTC online Olympiad for class 10 students on 16th of January, for which 300 students attended from various schools. So, top 3 students were awarded with the cash prize of rupees 3,000, 2,000, and 1,000. So, I request our Vilaan Father, Reverend Prakash Arthan, to give away the cash prize. First place, 3,000 rupees cash prize was secured by Master Anshuman Dabe of Mysore Sarovara Pushkarni Vidyashtra. Sarvidya High School has secured second place 2000 rupees cash prize. Sitam PD of Christ Public School has secured third place of 1000 rupees cash prize. Thank you, ma'am. In this time of Christ, a St. Thomas Alumni Association have planned and are ready to distribute and contribute food kits to the needy. I request our principal of state school, Mr. Swaminathan, sir, to introduce the noble lady. Good morning, Commander, respected and venerable fathers, Dr. Prakash Vikram, manager of distributions, principals, vice principals, agents, and report makers, office staff, and all the families. And today is a Royal celebration for all of us. We are joined virtually in this high school open study and I feel proud and honored to announce that our school alumni back of 2006 we are donating kits for the needy teachers and staff and the attenders of our school. And I request uh, Krishna and Ranjit, please come forward. I also request our good father, the student, the student, the students. Thank you all the alumni association students. It's a wonderful gesture in this testing times. Now, we have the flag bearers of our St. Thomas institutions. Our dear students and parents sharing their experiences about their school, that is St. Thomas institution. Firstly, we have Erin Prakash from class 12. A dream does not become reality through magic. It takes sweet it takes sweat, determination, and hard work. Do our best always. Good morning to all, respected principals, vice principals, heads of various sections, teachers, and my dear friends. I'm happy to see you all in this Zoom platform. Today, I'm here to share about my experience of my online class. Some, some may be thinking, negatively about the things that is happening in our life but our life is a short life to enjoy to find happiness and to do effectively what that is our response let me come to the point i have my own opinion about my online classes firstly never think or discuss anything negative about online class always think in good point of view we used to always think about the benefits we are getting from the online classes our portions are covered we are getting enough and more time to do self-study and do our homeworks at time it's really a wonderful time given to us through this 
online class secondly we are all in i to i contact with our friends we are talking mingling sharing cooperating listening and following directions with each other thirdly we used to always have a mindset that is i love to study this can lead us to show more sincerity to our studies fourthly through these classes we are getting time to take break and it will help us to relax our mind fifthly in this situation we are able to build a relationship with each other that is with our relatives grandparents friends and parents sixthly as we know it is our subconscious mind that is controlling everything so in our mind we used to always recall i like online classes i learn easily effortlessly and magically you can do everything etc we used to use this uh, these phrases during our online classes so let me conclude with a quote if you want to succeed focus on changing yourself not others thank you good morning to one and all myself hita chandran r of class 10 being a student of st thomas institution i would like to use this opportunity to thank all the members of our school respected father principal lovely teachers and all supporting staff as we all know education is the most important weapon which you can use to change the world and it is the best gift that none can take away i would like to begin this by thanking all our dear teachers who always cooperated and encouraged us in every possible way of achieving our success especially in this pandemic situation for the students who are going to face the upcoming board exam our teachers supported us a lot in taking online interaction classes on zoom google meet which helped us a lot in understanding the concepts very well and we were very free to clear our doubts with our teachers at any time even then our teachers took revision classes and solved various model papers which even more helped us in developing the confidence to face the upcoming board exam though it was a first experience for the teachers as well as students the school management managed very well by covering all the syllabus at that particular time so that we got time to revise and prepare ourselves for the board exam even though the situation is terrible so far our school and teachers stood firmly from day one to till today for the preparing ourselves for the upcoming examination with staunch confidence thank you so much for everyone your positivity and encouragement brightens our life and inspires to begin the new chapters in all of our life last but not the least St Thomas is an institution that molds and shapes the students for the bright future. Thank you one and all. Good morning all. I am Ashwini Chandran, mother of Hita Chandran studying in 10th standard. I take this opportunity to share my opinion about St Thomas institution. We convey our heartfelt gratitude to the school management and teachers for a wonderful experience and a journey of 12 years of my daughter. The school has provided an excellent coaching facilities for the students. The principal, teachers and all staff are really good, loving and they are very cooperative with parents and students. We feel very comfort in communicating with them. I am impressed with the level of support provided and it has been a wonderful experience so far. St Thomas School has made my daughter feel like home and she really enjoys her schooling. I am happy to say that my daughter has started her schooling from this institution and now she has stood up with a good foundation where she can build her career very well. I am very happy to share this opinion also that even her dad studied in the same institution and he is very glad about it. Even in this pandemic situation, the school has provided a quality education through online also. 
which is very appreciable. I have to really mention this that the teachers were so humble and so cooperative with each students in asking their problems and clarifying their doubts. This is where we parents came to know the greatness and patience of teachers. They have been caring each students personally till date by calling and receiving opinion and feedback regarding subjects. Though the students are at home, teachers are keeping them involved in studies for the preparation of upcoming board exam also. In this way, teachers are making them confident in grooming their personality. Finally, I would like to thank the management for each and everything. I feel proud to be the part of St. Thomas family and I heartily wish them to achieve great success in future. Thank you. Good morning one and all and uh, first I would like to congr congratulate St. Thomas institutions for starting this academic year 2020 and 21. I wish you very all the best. Dignitaries on the dais, respected father, Reverend Prakash Abraham G, and principal of uh, both the state and uh, central schools, Sri Swaminathan sir and Sri Lento Andrews sir. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to say a few words in this situation. First, I would like to say the greatest support of teachers and non-teaching staff to the students because I am also a parent of your institution and I am very happy not only with teaching and your great support with culture, co-curricular activity and like other things, karate, yoga and all those things you are doing so well and I am very happy with that. And, uh, an extra information which I want to share is the greatest support of your teachers in this pandemic situation. Because each and every teacher who taught my kid, they're extremely, extremely good. And the notes which they have shared, the questions of assignments and individual caretaking was extremely good. Really, I am very happy. As an educationist, I know very well the problem of teaching in this situation because online was very new to everybody and you took that task and you have been successfully did it in a very well manner and the management, the father and the principals, you supported so well to our kids to learn in a fantastic way. And all the class teachers were taking very much care to the student, whether they have submitted the assignments, whether they are very, very much ready with the notes. And if they have problem also, they are ready to send individually. That is the extraordinary care taken by your institution is very much appreciable. Really, I congratulate the principal, father and all the teachers. And I want to share a very good thing is the support of office staff also. They are also very good by telling the examination timetable and Google Meet classroom and sending with emails. Everything that was so fantastically coordinated by your management staff and teachers. Really, I wish all the teachers very best. And God will give definitely all the strength and opportunity to teach online classes in this year also because the situation is like that. And as a parent, really I'm happy and my son is learning so well in your institution. And I want to share that happiness with each and everybody who is presenting in this online meeting or the viewers who, are, who will join next also. And thank you very much for this much cooperation from the side of institution and the teachers. Very well, very well done. All the teachers are very well done. Thank you so much for the great support by principal, father and the teachers. And thank you very much for this great opportunity to say a few words to you. I wish you very all the best and have a nice 
time and nice year also thank you now it's time for everyone to make this day to make this platform and our school begins wonderfully and successful so let me call upon our beloved vice principal cbs section mrs asha sp to propose vote of thanks A very pleasant good morning to my job. I am really gratified to propose vote of thanks on this August occasion. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. We Centralites also believe in this. First and foremost, I would like to thank my sister thanks to our much father, Reverend Prakasha Prakash. For presiding over this opening ceremony, thank you, Father, for your constant encouragement and guidance throughout. It is your vision and leadership that has brought everything possible on this occasion. My heartfelt gratitude to Mr. Sam Chavinsa, Honorable Secretary, MES, for his stewardship, vision, and support. Thank you, sir. I extend my thanks to Mr. Nivedi Kunsa, Honorable Treasurer, MES, for his constant motivation, cooperation, and guidance. Thank you, sir. My gracious thanks to all the board members for their involvement and presence. Further, we are grateful to our beloved Kuchuma, Mrs. Simi Prakash, for her unconditional support. Thank you, ma'am. I offer my hearty thanks. To Mrs. Swaminathan, Principal of Saint Thomas State School; Mr. Linda Andrews, Principal of Saint Thomas Central School; Mrs. Brinda, Principal of Saint Thomas School, Chaitra; Mrs. Jyoti Lakshmi, Vice Principal of Saint Thomas State School, for their unstinted support and guidance. I would like to place on record my thanks to HM senior assistants, coordinators of various sections, who have ensured that this function. Becomes a memorable one. I owe special gratitude to all teaching and non-teaching fraternity of St. Thomas institutions for the valuable contribution and encouragement. I would indeed be failing in my duty if I do not express a gratitude to all the parents of St. Thomas for their wholehearted support. Special thanks to Dr. Chudi Shankar and Mrs. Ashwini Chandre for sharing their experience. And representing parents' community, a sincere appreciation and thanks to our St. Thomas Alumni Association, led by Krishna and Ranjit of 2006 batch, for their extending generosity and helping hand. Thank you. I would like to thank our dear students who have made this event more graceful and glorified. Led by Erin Prakash and Nita Chandra, senior students of our institution, they really put their zeal and zest to make all the preparations. I offer my gratitude to Mother Susan and team, Jill Thomas, for the technical assistance. At last, I pray God Almighty to hallow His blessings upon us and guide us in all our future endeavors. Once again, I thank you all for your attention. Thank you, ma'am. This is a new year, a new beginning, and things will definitely change. Let's hope for the better. Written by Taylor Swift. Now, I request all the staff members present here to please stand in your respective positions and let us sing Parnashram. Thank you. 